guys, Ratio here, and today we have another Pokemon Bell Plush review. Today it is the Poliwhirl Bell Plush. To see an explanation of the history of Bell Plush, check out my Pikachu Bell Plush review right here. As I said before, Bell Plush are exceptionally sought after, exceptionally collectible little toys. They're very cute. They do live up to their name with little bells attached to their head, and Poliwhirl is one of my personal favorites. So. Let's take a look. Alrighty, and here we are with our Poliwhirl. You can see it in its box. Unlike Pikachu, Poliwhirl has never been removed, so he will not fall out as I lift him up. His box is in slightly better condition. Poliwhirl does come from the same set as Pikachu. Set number two. You can see that noted right there. It does say Suzunari Pokemon, Pocket Monsters. We'll turn him around. We've got the same graphics on the side. Pikachu, Jigglypuff, and Mew. And Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. And then on the back, we have the same set, so I will not go through and name them all again, but if you'd like to check them out, go ahead and check out my Pikachu review. And all of our copyright information. And again, we've got this loop, which is generally for hanging them in the back of UFO catcher machines as a display, like, hey, look what's in here. So, let's get a good look at him close up. We can see, as with Pikachu, he is primarily made out of Velour. And then he has felt accents on his eyes with paint. Paint for his swirls and felt arms and little felt feet. And he does have a blue bell. The bells typically match the color of the Pokemon as close as possible. So, since Pikachu had a golden bell to match his yellow... We've got a blue bell on Poliwhirl, and if we, we can finagle out his tush tag, and it is the same tush tag as Pikachu. He's very cute, and again, he's soft up top, beans on the bottom. And they're very cute little plush. They're very unique looking. Uh, they, don't, they don't really look like any other Pokemon plush that are on the market today or were on the market back then. And they're one. They're a style that's frequently emulated by uh, independent plush makers today, who are making custom Pokemon plushes. It's very common that people will offer custom um, bell plushes, since they're they're a relatively easy style. They're very cute, and the materials generally aren't too expensive. So they're also plushes that people frequently want to commission. Since a bell plush commission, depending on the maker, usually doesn't run more than fifty dollars, whereas a different plush might run up to several hundred dollars. And then on the bottom we have him tied down firmly. So, yeah. There you have it. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff, and I will love you forever. And to see this video and more like it, check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com, Crazy Toku News in the craziest way possible. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Horatio signing out, and I will see y'all at the next review.